episode of Bravo Charlie's. Today we are going to do a very easy, super simple pull apart cinnamon pecan bread. Um, and we're going to cheat. And when cheating tastes good, you got to go with it. We're going to use the Pillsbury cinnamon rolls with buttercream icing prepackaged tube. Now, this is the one that they use with the Cinnabon, uh, the Cinnabon recipe and cinnamon. So, this is a Cinnabon pecan pull apart bread. You're going to need an 8x4 meatloaf style pan. Um, I have a baking stone and it's 8x4. I've lined it with tin foil and I sprayed it with uh, cooking spray like a Pam so everything would be non-stick because this is going to be a very sticky bread that we're putting in here. You're going to need a large mixing bowl. You don't need the KitchenAid mixer for this. Just a large mixing bowl will do just fine. You will need one third cup of light brown sugar. You will need one quarter cup or four tablespoons, same thing, four tablespoons equals one quarter cup of sour cream. And anywhere from a half a cup to one cup of pecan pieces, not pecan halves. I have one full cup here because I really like pecans. Now, the trick to this is don't buy these in the grocery store. It's way too expensive. Pecan pieces are less than pecan halves as far as cost. So buy the pecan pieces. That's all you need for this recipe. Get them at Walmart, get them at Sam's, get them at Target, Kmart, something like that. Don't buy these at your grocery store. They're, very, they're, they're too expensive. And what I typically do is I'll buy a two pound bag of these. You never go through them all with one recipe, but they'll stay for a good month or two in your refrigerator. So what I do is I'll take a two pound bag, take what I need out of it, take that bag, put it in a Ziploc freezer bag, you can even put these in the freezer if you want to last longer than a month or so. Put them in a Ziploc freezer bag, roll them up so you squeeze all the air out of it, zip it tight, throw it in the refrigerator, throw it in the freezer, they'll last for a month or two, no problem. So just pull them out when you need them. Like for uh, pecan pancakes, pecan waffles, all kind of different breakfast things like that. Just grab them when you need them. You will need one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and of course one tube of the Pillsbury cinnamon rolls. And we're gonna use the buttercream icing that's in here at the very end, okay? So let's get this mixed up and I'll show you what we're gonna do. This is extremely simple. It won't take no time to do this. And start preheating your oven to 375 degrees. This is gonna go in your oven for 30 to 35 minutes until it's golden brown. Okay, let's get started. Okay, now this really can't be simpler. We're going to take all of our pecans, the pecan pieces. I got one cup. We are, I just remembered. I melted butter in the microwave. And I forgot to tell you that. You need two tablespoons of butter. That is the liquid that is going to mix all of these other ingredients. So, let's recap. One cup of pecan pieces in the bowl one-third cup of brown sugar, one-quarter cup or four tablespoons of sour cream, and two tablespoons of butter, melted, obviously. Don't forget it in your microwave. Two tablespoons of butter, and I'm just going to eyeball this about one teaspoon of vanilla. And we're just going to coat this. Mix this up, stirring it together until all the pecans are coated evenly. Kind of tip this towards the camera so you can see it. Just get this all mixed. This doesn't have to be perfect because it's all going to melt down once it goes into the oven anyhow. 375, remember, make sure your oven's preheating so it's ready to go for you. Okay, now, I already popped this open <clears throat> and we're going to let this just fall in there. Take the uh, icing out. 
that out. All that in there. Now, it doesn't matter if these rolls come apart, it doesn't matter if they break apart, but be gentle with this. All you're going to do is stir this together or fold it in. Fold it, th fold it all together, scooping from the bottom, go to the top, back down through the center, scoop it through the bottom, back to the top. Just keep folding this until all of the cinnamon roll pieces from the pan are coated with the pecans and the sour cream and the butter and the brown sugar mixture. Once you have a good coating, there is no scientific way of doing this. There's no special way of doing this. Just get it all coated. Use your hands and fingers if you want to make sure everything's coated nicely. And then we are just going to put this into, see it just all comes apart, no big deal. Just put it in this pan. Once again, it doesn't matter how. Just put it all in because this is all going to rise just like bread. And then scoop all of the leftover pecans and cover the top with all of that. Now, this is going to go in your oven at 375 degrees, 30 to 35 minutes until it's golden brown on top. And we will come right back once it's done in the oven. All you're going to do is take a butter knife, let this sit out at room temperature for the next half an hour. It'll be perfectly easy to spread. Take a butter knife and spread this over the top. This is going to be real hot. This is going to melt very nicely on it. And you are ready for a great Saturday morning or Sunday brunch with eggs, coffee, tea, whatever. This stuff is spectacular. Okay, folks, here we are. It is done, and you can see it is a nice golden brown on top. And all we're going to do is take this now room temperature icing, smear that on. This is going to melt instantly and be perfectly gooey and wonderful. I mean, look at this. This is, it just doesn't get any better than this. Try and get every last bit. I don't want to waste any of this uh, Cinnabon icing. Get it all out of there. Coat the whole thing. And that's just going to melt through and cover everything. And there you have it. A very tasty, very simple, perfect for a Sunday or Saturday brunch. Cinnabon using the Pillsbury... Uh, the Pillsbury Dough Rolls, Cinnabon, Pecan, Pool Park Bread. Perfect. Very simple. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Bravo Charlie's. If you like this recipe, if you like what you saw, please hit the thumbs up button below. Hit the subscribe button. Come back next week. Every week I put out a new video for you. Down below in the description, you'll find my links for Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook. Check those out throughout the week. I put uh, different tips and stuff like that all week long. Hope you enjoyed this. See you next week. Thanks for joining me at Bravo Charlie's.